Foreign shoppers have been increasingly drawn to buy now, pay later platforms this holiday season. And joining us now to discuss whether there are any financial risks associated with buy now, pay later is Miro Pavladic, GM of the Global Banking of Global Banking at Sesame Credit. Thank you for joining us. Hey, thanks for having me. Good morning. Good morning. So I've been looking, I've seen this a lot. I didn't really understand what it was. So can you explain what is buy now, pay later? Well, absolutely. Uh, buy now, pay later is a new payment option that we've seen a lot of merchants globally implementing across their retail stores and their e-commerce stores. And essentially what buy now, pay later does is it allows individuals to split their payment um, in equal payments, interest-free, uh, over a period of time. And that could be anywhere from four payments to six payments. That could last anywhere from four weeks to six weeks. So it allows the individuals now the flexibility of using a debit card uh, as part of these transactions and spreading out those debit card payments over time, interest-free, and a lot of times fee-free as well. So I got a little nervous once because I was going to do this, and I started down the path on Klarna, and they asked for a credit check. And I was like, no, 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 I don't want you getting into my credit. I don't want another check on there. So I went the PayPal route because PayPal was letting me do it without the credit check. Yeah, certain service providers do different checks. Uh, what we've seen across the board is the majority of the players out doing a credit check. Um, and this is, this is kind of key because what we've been seeing is that a lot of consumers out there are preferring to use their debit cards as purchase payments. Um, two thirds of millennials out there who are now essentially the entire workforce and the majority of the workforce across North America and are big time spenders, um, they're not using credit cards anymore. Um, and this new economy of millennials and consumers are who are very aware of, aware of credit traps and debt traps and are flocking to products and services that allow them the flexibility of conducting more commerce anywhere and anytime without dragging around a large amount of debt. So a lot of the other service providers out there aren't necessarily doing that credit check. Um, they're just checking in on their identity to make sure that you're a real person. And then you can seamlessly uh, get into the ecosystem and complete your transaction. So what happens if you miss one of these payments? Does it start backing up on you? What are the downfall to selecting this? Well, you got to remember, there are always downfalls in terms of missing payments. Um, the service works really well when you make the payments on time. Uh, it's structured. You know exactly how much is going to be coming out, and it's equal in payments. So you know equally what those amounts are going to be. The problem is if you miss one of those payments, you can start incurring fees and you can start incurring interest charges. A good way to kind of avoid that and avoid missing payments is to start using the tools on their platform. So they provide notifications that allow you when payments gonna be coming out and reminders as well. That way you could make sure you stay ahead of it and not miss those payments. I thought that they automatically deducted them from whatever form of payment you're using. So you didn't even actually have to make a payment per se. It will automatically be deducted from either your debit card or your credit card, whatever you're using. That's right. But what you want to do is use those reminders to make sure that you have money in your account, your right. debit account or your bank account, mm -hmm. to make sure that the payment goes through. That way you don't miss that payment and you could avoid all the uh, unnecessary charges as well. So I remember seeing these on like the Home Shopping Network, QVC, Jewelry TV. So this is now starting to uh, move over into other retail areas and you expect this is gonna be around for a while. Yeah, absolutely. We see it kind of taking over. Um, recent stats have told us 37% of Americans have used a buy now, pay later service uh, in the past year. And globally, that's accounted for over $100 billion of spend. So now you see a lot of big ticket retailers out there, the Walmarts, the Targets, the Amazons, Nikes, Nordstroms. Um, it's, a, it's a payment option out there that you can use um, for essentially any transaction. Uh, we've also seen a lot of partnerships come out. Um, you've seen um, the likes of Amazon and Shopify partner with a firm uh, who's a buy now, pay later provider. And most recently, you've probably seen that uh, Square, uh, which essentially delivers the cash app service, uh, as well as the Square terminals, uh, is acquiring Afterpay, which is a buy now, pay later provider as well. And that's very strategic for them uh, because essentially they are driving more debit transactions. So by providing this flexibility of payback for debit transactions, it's a really big value add for consumers. 
Is there any downside for si signing up for these other than missing a payment, but using the service itself? Like, does it hurt your credit when they check it? Is, it, is something going to affect you financially if you use these? Well, the thing is, you have to check the T's and C's. You have to take a look at what you're signing up for. Uh, the majority of the service providers right now, they don't do a credit check. Um, so, but on the positive note, what we've heard, uh, Equifax just recently announced that they will actually take these transactions and actually attribute them positively or negatively to your credit score. So if you make the payments on time, it could actually positively impact your credit score. But on the debt side of things, if you do miss those payments, that could impact your credit score negatively as well. All right. All right. Miro, thank you.